Hello everyone, happy Monday and welcome back to the vlog. It's actually Tuesday for me, but it's feeling a lot like a Monday because my parents have been in town for the past couple of days and they were still here yesterday, so it was sort of more of a half day. And uh, today is a lot of catching up. Oh, and by the way, happy birthday if today is your birthday. It is already 11.15 a.m., which honestly is bad because I have not accomplished nearly enough and we have just a like jam-packed day here. So today is going to be a lot of focusing on getting back on track because, you know, when you're taking, honestly, it's been like a weird couple of weeks, you know, like two weeks ago, Connor and I didn't get much work done because we were dealing with some personal stuff. And then um, last week, I had a, a bit of the beginning of the week to work, but it still was sort of a little off. And also it was a lot of like prepping for my parents to get here too. So um, then they've been here from Thursday to, um, they left really early this morning, so really like until Monday. Like, you know, we finally need to you know, start getting back on track, back into our routine and um, figuring out, just getting all of that taken care of. I was just looking at my to-do list. It's honestly not that bad other than editing videos, which I always love to do first thing in the morning because if it gets later in the afternoon, I'm less inclined to actually take care of it. But today I had a lot of emails to get through, a lot of like random little things kept popping up, so I haven't been able to start that yet. But maybe I should just start that right now. It's 11.15, I'll work on that until noon, and then I need to eat lunch at noon because I have a call at one, and I wanna make sure I have enough time to get that done. Come back, finish the video, and then go. Okay, I think that that will work okay. <laughs> it's just a little crazy this afternoon after the call because I want to go grocery shopping at Trader Joe's while I still have my parents' rental car and then I have to return the rental car at four. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I think that's a good plan though. If I start on the video now, I'll be in good shape. But I did want to go through and start scheduling out some of um, the rest of the days this week. That way I can keep track of everything that needs to get done here. <laughs> it is uh, very easy to lose track of. You guys know I've talked about uh, the way that I plan my week like a ton on this channel, but just like to use the little notebook. This one's very fresh because I just finished a full last notebook and I just write to-do lists. And yeah, I just like to sort of schedule them out throughout the week. I feel like early in the week, you get a lot of stuff thrown at you. And so it's nice to be able to go through and, and figure out, okay, what takes priority, what can get done a little later and figure it out from there. So anyway, I really just wanted to hop on and say hi. Since it's Monday, I would love to hear what your goal for the week would be. I know I just sort of went over mine, but number one goal uh, is to you know just continue to get back on track with my fitness goals because that's really felt to the wayside throughout you know the last two weeks of craziness. So I need to get back on track with that and uh, you know continue prioritizing it. I feel like I'm always saying that, but I need to you know get back on track, continue to prioritize, and I need to like you know, actually sit down and do that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get to editing. By the way, I'm working in the office here today. Um, just, I didn't even really mean to, but I just came and sat down here because my laptop was in here and now it's been three hours, so here we are. <laughs> This is her new absolute favorite place to hang out because this box is really warm. Oh, sorry. Oh, and she's back. <laughs> she sleeps here seriously all day long. It is so crazy. Yet another reason to come work in the office so that I can hang with my little kiki. It's so funny her head is like upside down. <laughs> you little girl. Oh my God, your head is so warm, Molly. Did that feel so good? <laughs> <laughs> Great news too guys, my 1 p.m. call got canceled, which means I don't have to stop right at noon for lunch, so I'm going to go ahead and push through, finish that video that I'm editing, and then do lunch before we continue on with everything else for this day. 1.09 <laughs> p.m., just finished editing the vlog, so it's exporting now, and we can go have some lunch. All right, it's lunchtime here now, and I'm gonna make a sandwich because we have a fresh baguette. It sounds really good, and I think I'm gonna make some soup with it too. By the way, you guys, I forgot to mention to you at the beginning of this vlog that I did my taxes yesterday. It was my very first time ever doing my taxes myself. I had like my mom help me when I was like, you know, 
18, 19, and then I had an accountant who was helping me. But this year I decided that I wanted to dive in to just try it myself and you know see how it goes. And I was extremely pleasantly surprised with, um, you know, how it wasn't easy, but it was not that difficult and made me realize like, why the heck was I paying people so much money to do my taxes when like, I was able to sit down and get them done in two hours. That's not to undermine what CPAs do, but I, I just, it was one of those moments where I was like, I can just do this myself. So I used the H&R Block software. They literally have one specifically for people who are self-employed. So I just went in, entered all of my information. I had already done a lot of the prep of like going through my bank accounts and marking down, um, you know, what stuff was right off, so what stuff wasn't. So it really was just going in and plugging in those numbers and we got it done just in time because yesterday was the deadline. I waited till the very last minute. <laughs> <laughs> camera battery died and now the neighbors are all vacuuming but anyway all I was gonna say is that I was pretty proud of myself that I figured it out my mom helped me while she was here because she like knew how to use the H&R Block software but I was like damn this was totally doable I think I'm gonna be able to do my taxes myself <sighs> all right let's just make this sandwich <laughs> Lunch is served and looking pretty good. Got a turkey sandwich here and uh, some cheddar and broccoli soup. Molly cat. Ah, ah. Do, ah, ah. Do not scratch at this couch. So bad. <laughs> so bad. Bad, bad, bad. But I love you. And look at this. <laughs> so stretched out. Last day with this crazy ass car my mom rented. <laughs> my job to bring it home and I am terrible at driving it. All right, here we go. I cannot express enough how terrible I am at driving this car, so definitely will not be vlogging and driving while doing this one because it is a challenge and I need to pay like 500% attention. I didn't even tell you where we're off to. We are off to uh, Trader Joe's. Very excited for this. Guys, by some miracle, we made it. <laughs> Found just pull in street parking and so I didn't have to drive to parallel park or something nightmarish in this car. So feeling very good about that. And we are off to Trader Joe's now. goods in here today guys I'm very excited for a lot of the stuff that I'm finding lots of new stuff that I'm excited to try plus some old favorites too all the goods have been secured let's go home managed to make it home I stopped and filled up the gas tank on the Mustang which was also a uh, very interesting time but I'm gonna do a quick haul for you guys it has to be pretty speedy because I need to head out to return the car finally get it off of my hands <laughs> uh, but I do want to haul for you guys because I got so many interesting new things that I'm so excited about, as always. All right, let's just dive in. So first thing we have here, um, this has been recommended to me a lot. It is these chips in a pickle, pickle flavored potato chips. Very intrigued by these. Should we just try them right now, actually? Mmm, smell good. Mmm, oh yeah, that's really yummy. Very sad, apparently there was some sort of production delay, so they didn't have our super sour Scandinavian swimmers, which I'm really bummed about, but these are new and they recommended that I try these instead. They're tangy turtles, tart and sweet gummy candies. So we'll see how those are. Got some more just uh, cherry tomatoes because we're running a little low on those. Got some more of the everything but the bagel dip, house fave. Got some um, olive medley because I got some stuff for a cheese board. I figured might as well. Had to get some more of the cheddar and broccoli soup. The unexpected cheddar is so good. Got just one more packet of my tofu because I still have a ton in the fridge, but I had to get at least one more while I was there. Uh, and then Connor asked for some sandwich pickles, so there's those. Oh, and this I'm very excited for. I spotted it. It's chili and lime mayonnaise. Cannot wait to have that on a sandwich. Here's something else new. I got this sparkling watermelon juice. I thought that would be yummy, like in a refreshing cocktail or even just on its own. So that sounded really great. And then this was recommended to me by someone on my Instagram. It's the steamed chicken soup dumplings. So we're gonna have to try those because as you guys know, I've been on a bit of a dumpling run right now. Okay, next. 
Um, got some more of the dark chocolate covered pretzels. So, so yummy. It's nice to indulge on one or two of those. Um, got the fig and olive crisps, again for the cheese board, plus these are so good. Here's something else new. These are the soft strawberry licorice twists. Another thing that I picked up because they didn't have the sour gummies. Another new thing, I only got one of these, although I may totally regret it, but it's these protein packs. I just thought it'd be yummy for a quick light lunch or like a little snack. It has um, almonds, some salami, and then cheese crisps in there. Just sounds sort of good. I only got one just in case I wouldn't like them, but I feel like I probably will and I'm gonna end up regretting that I didn't get one. Also got two of these instant ramen soups. These used to be my favorite for when I would go out and come back and need something like late night to eat. And now the bars are gonna start opening up again and maybe that will be a thing someday again soon. <laughs> I thought I better get some. So just got the miso one and then the spicy me so which i think is new i've never seen that one before at least new to me all right one bag to go got a tomato for connor for his sandwiches i think it was all out here's something else new this is the japanese style fried rice i just thought this would be good for a lunch like i could throw some tofu in there dinner too but just something easy here are the cheeses that I got. I got a um, manchango cheese. I got this uh, brie cheese with wild mushroom, which is so good. I've had that before. And then this is new, but I'm very excited. It's the green goddess Gouda. I always love getting a Gouda. I think it's my favorite. Apparently this is really, really flavorful and yummy and good. Then got a, a bunch more dumplings, because as I said, I've been on a dumpling, a, blah, 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 a dumpling run, or I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, I got these types Thai, wow, okay, I actually can't speak. <laughs> I got these Thai shrimp gyoza, <laughs> uh, which I've never tried before, and then I got two packets of the veggie gyoza, which I've been making a ton. And then last thing I got was just some salmon. We actually have some salmon here, but we're using it for dinner tonight, and the salmon looked really good, just like really fresh and, and yummy. So decided to go ahead and grab some more, because why not? I'll just throw it in the freezer, that way we have some on hand. Whew. And there you have it. That is my speedy Trader Joe's haul. I need to quickly put all of this away and then I'm gonna head out to return the rental car. For our last ride in the Mustang, oh, <laughs> we're gonna put the top down because might as well. It was by far the best part of this car. So here we go. Might as well take advantage of one last ride. Yeah. Plus I can see so much better with the top down. Sight lines get a lot better. <laughs> Starbucks before dropping off the car. I decided just to have my Uber drop me off at Starbucks near my place and grab one anyway, just because I was in the mood for one and it's such a beautiful day out, so I definitely do not mind going for a walk, although our neighborhood is super hilly, so <laughs> it's uh, a nice little cardio burst here, which I guess is good since I'm gonna work out today and it's not gonna be cardio, that's for sure. They wanna do like a yoga strength flow. Ooh, the sun, it's very aggressive here. <laughs> Maybe we need to not do this. <laughs> this looks so crazy. It looks like there's like some sort of light. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh my god, game one Thursday. Jesus. So 7 p.m. I got home and um, knocked out a couple more hours of work. And now we're going to get a quick workout in. It's really not what I want to do with my evening here because that's just no fun. It's already 7 p.m. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> well, let me go get changed into my workout outfit. All right, and here is the fit for the day. This is from Astoria Active, where actually Connor's mom got it for me for Christmas. Very cute little set. And uh, don't mind the bench. This is how I make enough room in our room that I can actually work out, so. <laughs> You know, I like it because, you know, it's good for like, it's not going to cover up the taste of the outfit. It's mm -hmm. like for mixing it in with the cocktail. Yeah. It's like light enough of a taste mm -hmm. that it more feels like a mixed drink rather than some of the other ones where it's like, okay, I'm only tasting strawberry now. Yeah, this totally. It tastes like an alcoholic drink. Yeah. Full review. Full review. I'm all about it. Connor and I are trying this sparkling watermelon juice that I got from Trader Joe's today. He just threw it into a cocktail because he was making one. And then I just am having a little sip of it to see what it tastes like. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. No, it's really yummy. And it's actually not too sparkling. No. Um, because that's a big pet peeve of mine. I'm not crazy about sparkling stuff. It is funny because on the side it says plenty of bubbles. It definitely is not overly bubbly. Mm -hmm. um, but it's actually the perfect amount of bubbles for me, someone who is not crazy about bubbles. But I do like, um, you know, bubbly mixers. So that's good. And honestly, this is like, let's take a look at the ingredients here. So let's see, watermelon juice, carbon dioxide, citric acid, and then some sort of acid. Oh, ascorbic acid it says to maintain color 60 calories not bad yeah 60 calories a can zero grams of added sugar but it's really nice and sweet yeah. honestly i feel like this is just great um trader Joe's had a giant watermelon display the one that i went to because they have so many watermelon products out for summer there was chocolate covered watermelon i didn't get it but now i'm sort of regretting that i didn't because i feel like that could be interesting but all right let's try a sip nothing like some alcohol before a workout exactly like it still tastes pretty good. Oh my god, bad. how many shots did you put in that? I took one and a half. Whoa, yeah, yeah, no. It does not cover the taste of alcohol. No. Wow, I'm shocked because it, I mean, it doesn't have a strong taste, but it has like a, a good taste to it. But at least I'm enjoying it plain too, so even if I don't end up using it as mixers, it just tastes yummy. Okay, let's get to this workout. This is like a crazy angle that I have you at here because it's just not, uh, clean <laughs> but i want to show you today for my workout i'm going to be doing one of kaya's strength flows um so kaya is actually a follower of mine who i started to get to know a little bit a couple weeks ago and she's the one who sent me that uh, health and wellness sweatshirt which i love i wearing it so much um in videos and not in videos just because it's so comfortable and i'm a total sweatshirt addict anyway so anytime i get a new one it gets the shit worn out of it <laughs> but anyway she does these like yoga flows on her instagram page which i love here's her page i'm just going to put this up here now because i keep forgetting to link her page and so that's her name go check her out hopefully i remember to link her editing jill just remember to do that it's not that hard but uh if i don't there it is so yeah on her igtv she actually does ig lives but they're early in the morning i don't do morning workouts as you guys know for the most part so i tend to do the recorded version and so i'm just gonna do one of her yoga flows i have to say guys i feel like yoga might be that workout that i've been looking for that i can actually enjoy because i've tried so many different kinds of workouts you know like i've tried you know, just normal workout classes. You know, I've tried spin classes. I've tried bar classes. I've obviously done a ton of at-home workouts, which are fine. I don't hate them, but I'm not like enjoying myself during them. But I have to say, I really loved the yoga flow that I did with her. Um, whenever I do like uh, cool down yoga flows, those are always really nice. And I feel like maybe that is the missing piece for me. So I'm definitely interested in getting more into yoga, exploring that world a little bit more. Maybe I need to go like take an actual yoga class. Um, I've definitely have taken yoga classes in the past. What I love at least about what Kaya does during her um, yoga workouts, which I feel like are, can, can be similar for a lot of people, is that they're just chill you know like it's a hard workout but it's relaxing at the same time and like um it's not so like loud and like an instructor yelling and like i don't know like i just sort of like how chill it is i definitely am going to prioritize trying to get more into yoga and giving that like a chance because maybe maybe that's the missing piece for me let's do it Sorry. Workout done. Hopped in the shower and we're making dinner now because it's suddenly 8.30. So sad it's so late already. <laughs> it's a stupid part about having to work out. I know, right? It just like kills your evening. Exactly. When am I supposed to relax? But we're just gonna make some salmon bowls for dinner tonight, so at least it's easy. All right, we're gonna try some of this Japanese style fried rice that I got today from Trader Joe's with this. I think it'll be good. It has some veggies mixed in there already. That'll be yummy. Perfect. And then we have some veggies chopped up here and I'm gonna make some bok choy too. Sauce queen at work. 
<laughs> That's right, what can I say? So what are we working with here? All right, so, well, we're just making this up right now, as I do every time, I don't think it's ever the same. But, uh, soy sauce, I'm gonna add in some stir fry sauce, some of this, this is new, I don't usually add this, so I'm excited, but it's one of my favorite things from Trader Joe's, totally discontinued, so this is our last jar of it Oh ever, no. ever, ever. I know, it's so sad. What do we got here? <laughs> it's the spicy styles, all right, spicy style, <laughs> Asian style spicy peanut vinaigrette. So good, amazing on salads, amazing on cucumber salads. Sorry, let me just. So yeah, we're gonna put some of this in there. I think that'll be pretty yummy. Just a little peanutty taste. Let's do sriracha. Or just a little, because we'll probably put some on top too. And then grab a whisk. Good? Mm. Love Yummy. it. Yeah. Guys, seriously, I just tried a taste of this and it tastes just like hibachi. Mm. Like it's straight up hibachi fried That's rice. That's really what you want to hear. 100%. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this revelation. I'm going to need to go back and get more for sure. <laughs> All right, next up we got some bok choy in the pan. Just going to pan fry this little soy sauce till it wilts down and we'll be ready to assemble. The salmon just came out and it looks so good. Mm. Wow. Hello, beautiful giant bowl. Oh my gosh, this is a huge dinner. I'm gonna be shocked if I finish this. <laughs> but wow, it looks amazing. My mouth is watering. I am very, very pumped for this. Taste test. Told you I would get better at doing these occasionally. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Wow. Mmm, my. Oh my. The combination of everything is just really it's good. Oh, so yummy. Avocado, that fried rice is so good. Fried rice. Mmm. Mm. And I guess I'll just go ahead and end the vlog here because it's already 9.30. We're just getting to dinner now. And then I think we're just gonna relax and probably head to bed in like two hours. So thank you guys for watching today. Hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.